To make the case for Canadian film, it's important to know what's what. Canadian filmmakers work in a system that is specifically designed to help them succeed. So how do filmmakers fund their films? Canada's feature film funding system builds its movies on a three-legged stool model. The first leg is direct funding from the government, such as telefilm or provincial production funds. The second leg is labour tax credits that reduce the cost of employing cast and crew. The third is the market, distributors and broadcasters who pay license fees for Canadian or international rights. More than 100 feature films get made each year, but how do these films get to audiences? That brings us to distribution. Canadian distributors buy the media rights from Canadian producers before the film is made, which helps complete the finance plan and gives other investors, like Telefilm, confidence that the movie will be marketed and made available to cinemas, streaming platforms, broadcasters, schools, and airplanes in a professional way. Unlike in broadcasting, where broadcasters are required to make about one-third of their content homegrown, there are no quotas for Canadian content in cinema, and most movies that are seen here are from Hollywood. Only about 10% are independent, of which 5% are international independent cinema, and the other 5% are from Quebec and the rest of Canada. Canada's independent movie distributors are the ones that bring that 10% of non-Hollywood films to the Canadian market. This is the system that has existed since before the use of the internet and is governed by the Broadcast Act. The Broadcast Act was last updated in 1991. While the world changed around us, Canadian cultural policy stayed focused on broadcasters until now. Bill C-10 is a proposal to modernize the Broadcast Act. It will define the powers given to the CRTC who manage the nitty-gritty of license terms for broadcasters, like CTV, CBC, Global, and Rogers, and how to license the streamers such as Amazon Video, Netflix, Crave, and Hulu to level the playing field. Also, for the first time, the Act proposes to require programming that reflects the viewpoints of Indigenous people and all of Canada's many and diverse communities. Online streaming has disrupted the distribution landscape for film, blurring the lines between broadcast and theatrical distribution, creating a unique niche in between the two. As this legislation is developed, we believe it's important to consider feature-length film in the mix. So what should the future look like for cinema? And how can we make sure that the new rules benefit a more inclusive, competitive industry?